you guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out Toyana's Wicked Love. Um, you don't, you don't need to say in the comments all the, um, drama or the controversy with this comeback because, um, I wasn't following it very deeply, but it was kind of very heavily reported. Um, so I kind of know all the tea. Um, so when it, when it is gonna come around to the Hey Rodrigo music video, I'll be reacting to, um, the current version that is out, not the original version. Uh, so I won't really know the editing differences. Uh, but I'll definitely take a look at the lyrics for that one because it's a very intriguing, um, narrative that's going around with it but i'm really excited to be checking out wicked love i love everything that she's been doing solo wise um she seems like you know she's like the bright colorfulness that she kind of debuted with but the last one was a little bit darker um so i'm excited to be seeing what she's doing with uh wicked love here um there's no subtitles up for this so i don't know what she's saying um here but really excited uh nonetheless to be checking out this comeback finally so yes you know what it like um Okay. Already seems very performance heavy. Oh, oh. Oh. Very. I, I don't think she's had such a. In terms of like performance, definitely the most performance we've seen from her. Hairography queen. Ooh, with the nails. Nails would just add. But she's wearing red contacts. Whatever she doing. You know, I kind of thought maybe oh, we got her vibe. I, cause you know, I mean, I, 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 she's definitely one of these artists, one of these soloists that is always going to, I feel like, surprise us with what she does. Um, cause I was, I never, I was not expecting that at all. Even, um, at, at all. Like, I don't know if there's any, like, I, 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 I the last, the, uh, where, where do we begin? Where do we begin? Okay, let's, let's, let's start with what I can talk about. The, I think this is definitely a very heavy song, uh, I didn't know comeback, I'm not gonna say comeback, cause again, we haven't experienced a full comeback yet, but very heavy on performance for her, which, um, 
you know, I feel like when, like, her she her choreography is really great, I like it, but this is a very heavy focus on performance and elevating her as a performer, and I really like to see that. I, I, I feel like we haven't gotten that from her yet, um, and I, I really like it. The choreography is amazing. She's really performing it at a very high quality, high level, um, really, really in love with just the choreography in general. The concept makes sense for Yenna, but I think the sound itself, I was not expecting at all um, which is kind of crazy like to say that because I mean it is but it isn't like I feel like the song itself is very um it's it's definitely something you would get out of uh like dream catcher or purple kiss you know those girl groups with that type of concept so um it's it's not surprising that she went for it but kind of surprising that she went for it you know what I mean like I'm not surprised that she did it because of just based off her previous track record what she's brought to us um, what she's brought to the table um so yeah and I I think she's again one of the soloists where she's just going to bring something new something different to the table creatively knows no bounds and has so much things she wants to do and explore um, and I think that's definitely what like now I'm really understanding about her because uh, it's been we were in few, we're a few comebacks in, um, so I, I I'm sort of seeing no balance in terms of her creativity. Um, but yeah, and I think the song is really really great. I love what she did with it and the so overall performance of it. She is such like a performer that uh, like I feel like any concept she wants to do, she really leads into it and really executes it at a very high level um and i love to see that from a performer that not only gives like smile but wicked love you know um and is just always going to deliver that type of performance um out of it it's always going to be 100 percent is there going to be 50 or 75 it is 100 probably 120 percent um and i love seeing that from her as an artist but um yeah, that was that was a trip. I was not expecting that at all, but I really really loved it I mean her outfits her style are just so signaturely her that is the most consistent thing across anything um, And I especially the white outfit. I'm like that's very yeah. Oh my god um, So but I I love the performance video. I think visually it was really cool to get the two different sets um, and the uh, Different lighting and the different outfits. I think everything was working for me um, So yeah, that was I I was girl I was not prepared for that at all I had no idea what like uh, again I feel like just with their previous ones we saw there was like a Yenna vibe and the Yenna vibe is still here but it was just girl um, and I, I really loved it I, I really love this from her I think it was amazing go to for your thoughts in the comments down below what you thought about Choi Yenna's Wicked Love if you liked this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked me and want to see more of my videos go to hit that subscribe button want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button want to follow me on social media Twitter Instagram TikTok threads or description down below or at the end screen if you like gaming content I have a gaming channel it's called Erica Just Games links in the description down below currently playing The Last of Us Part 2 so I hope you can join me over there for that thank you guys so, so much for watching love you and I'll tell you guys Later. Bye.